Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we finished uh, class before we were able to actually finish this assignment. I'm going to do a video to show you how to do this assignment. Uh, this is not um, an acceptable practice. Basically, if you want me to finish class on time, you've got to be here on time. And I noticed a lot of folks dragging in 10, 20, 30 minutes late to class. It hurts the students who come early. Okay, let's talk about this treasure hunt assignment. You're taking five paces to the southwest. So south and west is this direction. And then you're taking 10 paces south. 10 paces south. Let's start here on the map. So five paces to the southwest. Let's make one centimeter equals one pace. One centimeter equals one pace. So we go southwest and we're going five centimeters. And make sure I get things lined up. Um, is that correct? I, I'm gonna I'm gonna get off the off the um, paper if I use this scale because five if I go this far and then 10 centimeters to the south, I'll be down here somewhere. So let's change that. Half a centimeter. You can change it. Use the scale that makes sense. And in the middle of a problem, you're looking and saying, this isn't going to fit on the paper. Change the scale. You start out with your best guess and go with it. And if something else needs to be better, then you go with that. Okay, so if half a centimeter is one pace, then five paces times 0 0.5 centimeters per pace works out to be 2.5 uh, centimeters. So we're going to go in the southwest direction 2.5 centimeters. There we go. That far. That's our one vector. Now we put the tail of the second vector on the tip of the first. Ten paces will then work out to be five centimeters. Ten, if we put ten here, ten paces times a half a centimeter per pace, we'll get five centimeters. So we're going to go five centimeters to the south. That's our scale. So I'm starting at 10, that means I'll wind up at 5 and I'm going due south. Tail of the second on the tip of the first and from the start to the finish then becomes our resultant. How long is our resultant? I get 7.1 centimeters times one pace is half a centimeter. One pace per half a centimeter. Centimeters cancel out. So I'll get 14.2 um, paces long. What's the angle? this angle right here. We could also measure it from this axis. We always measure angles from axes. We could also measure it from this one. In fact, measuring it from this one's conventional. You're just getting started, so I won't worry about that so much. So let's go. We put this line on the protractor and the center of the protractor in the center, right there and this line on the protractor on the line that we're measuring from and I don't have quite enough room. I need to extend my line a little bit. The only reason we extend the line is just to measure angles. There we go. Extend the line a little bit. Put my protractor down. Make sure the zero degree angle is right on the line we're measuring from and 
Here's the line we're measuring to, and it reads 15 degrees. 15 degrees. So we've got two answers. Angle equals 15 degrees. Length, um, radius if you will, equals 14.2 paces. Now we also want to know how far do you go over in the x direction. Well, it's in the negative x direction. This is a positive x. So we're going negative about 3.6. X coordinate, negative 3.6. From where we started, from where we started. Y coordinate, 5, 10, um, 1, 2, 13, and a little bit, 13.3. Paces, and they're all in paces. By the way, there's one reason I used half a centimeter equals one pace. Because, if you'll notice, the distance between this line and this line, one square, one division on the graph paper, equals half a centimeter. But notice when we went at an angle, we actually had to use our ruler. From here to here is not five paces. You have to go one, two, three, four, five. You have to use your ruler. Okay, let's figure out what the actual answers were. Get out my handy dandy calculator over here. So it was, this is supposed to be 13.5 instead of 13.3, we're really close. This is supposed to be 3.5, we got 3.6, again, really close. This is, the angle is supposed to be 14.6, we got 15, very close. And let's find the length, I'm doing that right now. The length is 14.0, we said 14.2, very close. So the accepted values, 14.2, and 15, I believe I said 15, 14.6. 14.6 is the accepted value for the angle. Okay, so this shows the process of adding vectors tail to tip. This vector plus this vector results in this vector. End of movie, thank you very much. I don't like doing videos like this to show the class how to do things. We really want to get things done in class. But that requires, I can finish on time, but you guys got to show up on time. See you next time, and let's be a little more diligent. Take care, ladies and gentlemen.